142 says, suppose a new drug is being considered for approval by the Food and Drug F Administration. So the null hypothesis uh, is that the drug is not effective. Okay, so drug not effective. All right. Um, so the alternative has to be that the drug is effective. Okay, if the FDA approves the drug, okay, so the FDA approves the drug, okay, that means it came to the conclusion that it was effective, right? So that means uh, they rejected uh, the null hypothesis um, because they concluded that the drug is effective. That's what it means when the FDA approves the drug. So what type of error, type 1 or type 2, um, could not have possibly been made, okay? So remember, type 1, this is alarm um, without a fire, okay? So that means uh, we rejected the null hypothesis when we shouldn't have. And type 2 is um, there's a fire and no alarm. It means we did not reject the null hypothesis when we should have. So in this case, if we rejected the null hypothesis, basically we set off an alarm. Okay, in this case, that alarm was approving the drug. Okay, uh, what error could not have been made? Okay, so if we rejected the null, we could not have made a type 2 error. Okay, so not possible to make... Type 2 error if you reject the null. If you, as I can write, reject H0.